Now we're in 190 metres of water and we've just found a big school of fish sitting down deep. It's truth. There's another one. Not like the bottom? No. Nah. Shorto's on the wind up and he's just hooked up. Is it a good fish? Oh, that's a fish. Bit of weight there too. Yeah. That's a DH. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is a real fish. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another Sammy Hipke fishing adventure here with Shauno. We are currently in bait collection stage. We have a very ambitious plan of attack for today. So much so that I don't know if we should even be telling you on the on the case that it may not happen. Um, look, the weather's meant to be a lot better than it is currently, but that's all right. It's meant to glass off, and we're going to head deep. We're going to head real deep and see if we can't catch some ooglies. You know, this is some very new territory for me. I've done very, very little deep dropping. Jo uh, deep dropping. Sorry, can't talk. It's early. Um, of liveys. Yeah, yes. Not very good ones. Oh. We're just getting a bit of bait at the moment. It's fresh, fresh liveys and uh, fresh cut baits is going to hopefully be our game changer. Um, I've done very little deep dropping. I've done a bit of deep jigging. Um, we're going to be doing some of that today as well. But the plan of attack is to drop some baits real deep and see what we can bring up. Sean, you haven't said anything which is very unusual for you. I'm, I'm super excited. I want to catch, if I can, a bar cod on a jig. That will be my ultimate goal today. I will cop a bar tail or bar tail. You can have one of those if you like. <laughs> the old bar tails, this new species. Don't know if you heard of them. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take a bar cod on a jig as well. Also take a monster pearly and a uh, flame tail snapper and a swordfish yeah. and a. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take a what do you raised sea brim as well. Look, I'll take what we can get. I just want to catch something cool. I don't really care what it is. Something cool from the deep. And uh, yeah, we'll call it a day, but we're just going to grab some bait and then we're going to head wide and see what we can find. Sean, can you catch more than one at a time? I thought you lined if that's what you're asking. Oh <laughs> no. Righto, we're going to have to sort this out. Look at that for a sunrise, guys. Beautiful. Now, Sean is on the bait jig. I am ripping a slug, so Sean is trying to get some uh, yakas or slimies, whatever we can we can get in mass. We can keep them liveies, and then if I can get a bonito, we're going to use that as a strip bait. Have you, you got a couple? Yeah. Let's walk on. I did more than one. More than it's one. Fine. Well, two is more than one. It's not mine, mate. It's all right. They're lollipop size. You can almost use them whole. Butterfly. Oh, butterfly. Yeah. Oh, stop it. That's got, that's got yum yum written all over it. For a big bark, oh, that's yum char daily, surely. I made that up. I'm just talking smack. That's a slacker, isn't it? It is a slacker. Hold that up, because oh, I think that needs needs explaining. So this is what we call a slacker, which is a cross between a slimy and a yakka. They're like a streamline crossbreed. I don't know. If they've got an actual name, feel free to let us know. But it's like a, it's like a pilchard yakka slimy. Or a slacker. They're good on the marlin. They are good on the marlin. They look like they'd be good on just about everything. They look tasty. They look eatable. Or edible, as they say in the English language. That's a string, Sean, eh? One hey, short of a full house. Couple there. We've got, we got four on that one. A lot of, lot of slackers. A lot of slackers, mate. And look, it's a fish that really takes after me, the old slacker. Oh, it's a fish of your own heart. And I'm yet to uh, find a bonny. No bonbon. Bon. But I want bonbon. Bon. Could you conclude that you've done yourself a mischief? <laughs> like the definition, mate. I've, I came, I saw, conquered a few slackers, and then just the bait jig just become a tangled mess. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, I love that. Thing. Now, do you want to talk us through your secret flathead classic technique? Because, um, mate, when you're you, on the team. When you go on three up, mate, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get spined. So, look, that's the plan for this morning. Just get a couple of flays. Where the flays are, the old saying goes... It's meant to be... It's three metre flatter. He's not three flatters, flathead a metre apart, isn't it? I, or did yeah, you... I lost I in translation. I think I'll start this up. Here's Spikey little nerds. 
So what you want to do is just grab them around the head like this and just really hold on firmly. Just, look at that. Imagine if that comes back as a metery. Oh, I'd cop it. They don't really like the trip up, I don't think. A little slow to return. Hey, that'd be 15 points in one one little go in um, the Flatter Classic. Five p points for, oh my goodness, five points per undersized fish. Beautiful. Job done. We got a tank full of liveies. Unfortunately, no Benito. For me, that was uh, a bit disappointing. So we'll be using strips of uh, strips of yakka, strips of slacker. I think we got a couple of slimies. And uh, we've got some squid as well. And then after that, it's Jiggy Boys. All right, Captain. All right, let's go. Point us for the horizon and let us go. Woo! Now we're in 190 meters of water and we've just found a big school of fish sitting down deep. Uh, we will give a big shout out to our mate Casey. Casey hooked a brother up, or hooked the brothers up with a, uh, a starter mark. So, um, we're at the starter mark now and it's looking pretty good. It's looking good. Look, I'm not going to say too much just yet because we haven't caught anything, but we've found some fish and that's the first and hardest part, I reckon. It is, isn't it? I'm going to have, have a drop. I'm just going to do it. Are we going to drop a jig first? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. I'm not ripped up, though. That's, that's bad. I know. Well, Sean is doing the sneaky. He's already halfway down. I'm not sure if I call it the sneaky or just a bit more prepared. One of the two. Are you on the bottom? No. Uh, it's 190 metres here, so we're going to have to use a pretty substantial size jig. I'm thinking I'm going to start off with a two, 230. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Get down a bit quicker than me. You take that jig. Bet you wish you didn't... Un you're on the bottom. So. You made it to the bottom. Now, as you can see, we're... It's not super awesome conditions at the moment. It's meant to glass out, so <laughs> hopefully that's still the case because it's, it's blowing a fair bit of west at the moment and it's kind of a bit rough and tumble. Look at that bad boy. That's 230. Nice bit of glow on it. I like, I like the glow for this deep works. Oh, I thought you were on there. Definitely like having a bit of glow. It's pretty specialist gear this we're using. I'll show you the gear in a sec. But um using the right tackle definitely makes it definitely makes it easier. Yeah, it's be close. Shawnos on the bottom. Catch something. Still life down there. I might actually. I might go the four hooks, I think. Four. Four, because what are you going to achieve with three that you can't do with four? Oh, oh Sean, I had a nudge. Hey? Yeah. Fish? Yeah. You still got it? Pulled out. Yeah. It wasn't the bottom. Oh, that's a good start. Was it a good tap? Yeah, yeah there's a fair chance Sean I would have hooked and landed that fish if he had had a decent assist hook set up. It's gonna go with the assist hook set up. I've got it here. Okay. One hook, one big fish. That's all I need. To one big fish. Well, I've got four hooks. I've got four chances of getting a hook up. You've got to remember, your lure is. 190 meters away and you're trying to set a hook point when it's that far away can be a little bit difficult so I'm going for the light gauge and hopefully I'm not going to eat my words and get smoked by something <laughs> bit of secret sauce on the jig as well righto 
Everyone, I'm ready. Shauno's on the wind up and he's just hooked up. Is it a good fish? Yeah. Oh, might give you a bit of reverse. Kingy, you reckon? I don't know, I was on the wind up like pretty Yeah, pretty but there's a, there's a lot of fish sitting up off the water there, off the bottom. Keep in mind guys, this is 190 metres, so we might be here for a little while if it's a serious fish. Hopefully it's a big pearly or a snapper or something like that. It's hard to tell. So Sean O's running uh, the same reel as me. He's going to the Oshia... Oh. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I no! Mate! No, What's I'm going on? Just a practice run, mate. Just getting ready for the main event. It's good to know that everything works. I just need a heavier jig, I think, to get down there in the, in the zone a bit more. Like one of these. Like one of these. Look at that. Oh, I know. That's a... Yeah, that's got big pearly written all over Big it. pearly. Snapper. I want a bari. I want a big bari. The old... Bar cod that I call the bar tail. <laughs> yeah, that, that fish was way off the bottom. Yeah, I reckon it could have been a snapper or something because it didn't, yeah. it didn't do enough no, for a king. Like, uh, uh. It took a bit of line. Like, it would have been a good fish. Yeah. So usually with multiple assist hooks, they lock in somewhere else. They get all. On the side and everything, so. Right, this fish like that? No, well, you just don't drop them. That's a good thing. Yeah, but no, you, you do you, you do you. We're just trying to film a fishing show here, not a winding show. Let's have an inspect, see if, is it, or oh, it was not a new jig, is it? No, it's not a new jig. It's got a few bite marks already in it. Any, any new ones? Yeah. Uh, hard to know, but it's definitely a fish. World record, you reckon? Up there. 100%. Up there. Oh, a nice bit of swell coming through. We're dropping now. We've made sure we spread our lures out. Oh, oh what? Yeah. When did that happen? Just then. And I lost everything. What the? On the drop? Yeah. Well, you, so you weren't right down near the bottom though. Not even close, like 50 metres under the boat. What the? Lahu? Oh, yeah. Could have been. Bitten off. Champion. That's what you want. That's costly for Big Sean, eh? Costly. It's because we're just about, I'm just about getting the zone too. 350. 350. Oh, perfect. Give us a look. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, just truth. There's another one. <laughs> yeah, right. Did not make the bottom? No. Nah. I was wondering why my jig started going a bit faster. Well, that's a good sign. Did not even make the bottom. Well, this is a fish of substance. I think, think it's a bit kingish. How good is that first drop? And the reason I'm still in reverse here is because if you start drifting away, you've got to pull them through even more water. So you want to want to stay on top of them, particularly for a fish that you think is like a kingfish or something of that nature, where you are uh, you don't want to have to fight them for longer than you you have to, particularly on this lighter gear. I'd like to know how deep I was because I got a fair bit of line out. He's coming up, I don't think it's I don't think it's huge. Might just be a little ratatatus. Either way. Take it. Any fish on a jig is a good fish. Alright. Oh, no. Any minute now. He's under the boat. It is a kingfish. Is it? Can I get you to do the honours? Yeah. He's not a bad little kingy either. Nice little rat sized king or bit bigger than a rat he's an esky filler good size. he's a good size for an eat sean have you run out of arms oh, oh. Too many talks, mate. yeah you do have to be careful of those oh, 
Yeah, Sean, this is where Sean pretends he's uh pretends he's trying to land your fish, but really he's just trying to lose it for you. It won't it won't lift. Just grab him and chuck a, me a thumb in your mouth in the mouth or gill in there. You we're on the board. You're on? No. Not too bad. Thank We're free. Oh, it's growth. Oh. And how's that? The hook throw. That was literally first drop. Solid yellowtail king. I'll just tilt the camera down a bit so you can see me. Solid yellowtail king. And this guy is coming home for a feed because these guys are great on the table, particularly from deep water. Sean, I reckon they're a bit firmer. I reckon they are too. And uh, this guy's gonna go a treat, not only sashimi, but fresh on the barbecue. I cannot wait. Yee hoo hoo! Bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mon. Oh, yeah? Yep. Well, that made it to the bottom, and I got something. It's, it's not big. But I've got a hook up that's right in the bottom in just shy of 200. Hope I still got it. Yeah, there's still something there. First jig. This is going to be a long wind up. What you don't want to do is go all this way up for an undersized pearl perch or something like that. Oh, I think it is a nanny. I see red. And oh, it's a nice one, I think. I don't know how big they get, but. Into the boat. Oh, yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> that's a really good one. How good is that? That's my first big one of those things. <laughs> oh, I think, what are they called? I think they're like Eastern Nana Guy or something like that. Yeah, they're definitely nutty. Like a deep water. Pearl perch, obviously they're red. They've got um, some razor sharp scales on them. A weird mouth too. You. Sean, on. Yeah. Fish on. Oh, you looked like you're on. Oh no, pulled him. Well, guys, critters from the deep have a go at that. 190 meters of water, and that is a nana guy. I'm not sure on the exact name. This is the first one I've caught that's uh, this size. Apparently, they're really good eating too. It's like a uh, a big pearl perch, but definitely cool. What do you reckon, Sean? Oh, these are good eating, yeah? Unreal, mate. I'd have those over a snapper all day long. Well, that's good, because I'm going to catch a ton of them. Just decided. <laughs> I've just decided. just decided. There you go. How good is that? Woo! Two drops, two fish. Well, this is drop number three. And um, given previous videos, I'd like to bring to light the score, the current score. Thus far, Sean, you've done a great job at getting liveies, which I've done in previous videos. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, it, it's, it appears you've left the fishing to the real men today. Well, look, two drops, mate. Let's not get excited. I've got something. I've, I feel this drop's going to be my saviour, saving drop. Okay. Well, I'm just the, the only two drops that I've had. Like this is this isn't your second drop. This is probably your third. Yeah, it is. It is. And um, I'm just I'm two from two, so I don't know, like. I've lost a jig if that counts. No, no, because no, uh, one of them was my assist hooks and that was my favorite assist hook. I le lent it to you in confidence that I would be returned and are you on? Oh, Sean. Look out, look out. Fish on. See, all it took is a bit of encouragement. Fish on, mate. Didn't even get to the bottom. Didn't even get to the bottom. That oh. looks like a demersal too. It does, it feels like Slightly bigger nanny than you, mate. Well, you got no chance there. You know, I'm gonna hopefully not. I feel, I 
does feel like a good old weight though. Some good kicks in there. Harvey with a big three. Fifth, I hope we get a couple stuck in there. Look at the head shakes. Ooh. Head shakes. I can confirm it does not feel like a kingfish. Righto. Show you how big they get. <laughs> yeah, they do that. They, you just go to the straight one. Yeah. Maybe snaps. Pearl? Pearls have a go. Pearl, it does feel a bit pearl. Oh, that's a fish. Bit of weight there too. Yeah. Oh, it's a DH. Is that me? DH, double hookup. Ah, oh, righto, sorry mate. Don't speak your lingo. Oh, I just, just know about getting quality fish in the air. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Shut up, Sean. You're this is not fighting at all. I wonder if I haven't flicked me jig over. Yeah, I reckon I flicked me jig over. Yeah. Now I've got to wind it up from. Just, just let it go back down. Yeah, right. That was a yeah, I'm happy to call this a. I don't know. Look, I'm going to wind in, see what's going on anyway. There's no fight, so it might be fouled. Might have something. Maybe. Got thing, eh? Maybe. Just coming onto a nice show of fish too. It probably would have been nice to have a jig down there. Oh yeah. Here we go, colour. Colour. Speak to me. What colour is it? Nanny. Nanny? Oh, oh big nanny. nanny. Oh yes, that's my PB, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He looks about as long as you too. Look at him. That is a cracker, mate. Little stumpy. Look at that. Oh, look at his tail, he's all... Sure. Yeah, he's, he's all Sean Wild. <laughs> look at that, mate. I'll tell you what, he's, he's had a bit of a bender. We've all been there, though. Oh, I do have something on here. I can feel it kicking. A little one of those. Yeah. How much fun are the little buddy jigging outfits, though? Yeah. <laughs> and it's not, it's not terribly hard to do in this depth. Like, these are built for... For jigging, they hold a stack of line. Here we go, I do have a fish. I do have a fish, it's red. Little nanny? It's a, no, it's not a bad nanny. That's all right. <laughs> yes, yes. Look at that, double up. Double up, double up. The boys are fishing for fillets today. Yes. Fish? Yeah. Man? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Bit of a head, bit of, bit of a, got some head shakes there. Shauno, inquiry. Bit of, a, bit of an account of itself. Might be, might be the pearl. I know you love that one, it just gets to the bottom. Make sure you yell so everyone can hear you. Fish on, fish <laughs> on. Now you're getting the message. No, that looks better, it looks like, no. that might, actually, you know what that might be. Sorry. Well, I don't want to say, it's doing, it's doing the right things. But, Spanish mackerel. Barred Spanish mackerel. Barred brim. Barred Fortescue. The bar. The marble bar. Marble bar groper. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Black cod. Blue cod. Bonefish, probably. Could be a permit. <laughs> right down deep? Yeah, on the bottom. I, the first time I dicked it up, nothing. Dropped it back down. Oh, textbook. Textbook. Jigging there from Sean. That's bit. Oh, no. oh, don't tell me. Just got a lot lighter. No. Sean! Dodgy assist hooks. <laughs> you notice we're in and out of gear a lot here. We're trying to stay, keep vertical on our on our jigs. You wanna it's called vertical jigging for a reason. It uh, works a lot better when you when you do it straight up and down. 
Well, my head cam's gone flat, but Sean is into one. I've only got about 150 to bring her up. Bring them up slow and steady. Does that win the race? Sometimes. In the last time. Must be a Toyota thing. A big nanny. He's he's another Sean Whale. He's a chode. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's only just pinned. Oh no, he's not. He is. Show the camera that. That is that is Sean Whale in a fish if I've ever seen one. Big head, small body. <laughs> And tastes amazing, just for FYI. Oh, it's not been told. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nannies do, far out. Nannies? Oh. That's what we call them. Hide your daughter, hide your wife. Well, that's four nannies now, one kingy, and a few dropties. I've been on this, uh, I haven't had a hookup in a little while. Lost me touch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean on. Time for a cuddle. Time for a cuddle. No, I want a cuddle. Okay. All right. I'm going to embrace it. Oh. That had a bit of dig, didn't it? Yeah. Here's colour. Oh. Red? I think it's red. No, I think it is a... I think, I think it's silver. It's red. No. Nah. It's red. Now it's red. It snaps. It is a snap. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's oh, pretty hunky good, dory. Good snaps too. That's pretty cash money. That's pretty cool. On the jig. Nice little snapper. All day, sir. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Ooh, the showing. Alright, you think it pulled up? Oh! Yep. We're on! Alright! Oh, there's a bit of weight there! Oh, he's not not doing a great... Oh yeah, he's having a bit of a dig. Oh yeah, look at the, look at the fish come up. Bit of variety. I know, it's so We're cool. putting together a feed, I tell you that much. I love these sort of this sort of fish in there. Oh, so good. If it keeps calming out like this, it's going to be nice. Oh, it's mm. lovely. Nice little section before it changes. Yep. Fish on. Drop, yep. Oh, on the drop. Good fish. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be. A st oh no! Still got him. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's got to be snappery. I reckon this might be another nanny to add to the the, uh, the tally or a small snap. Oh yes, nice Sean O. That's a doubler. Yeah, I got a nanny. I got a nan dog. Oh, a nice one too. He's a nice one. Yeah. If we have to load up on nannies, we will. We will. That is what the fuss is all about. Nannies! Another one. Yeah, maybe yours isn't a nanny. It's weird, eh? It's, it's proper weird. And it's a different red, too. Well, Sean O, the quiet achiever. That's... Oh, PB nanny, mate. Look at that. I don't know literally anything about these things, but it looks like a good one. Yes. I've caught small ones on bait jigs, and that's not a small one. No. Right. Yes! Oh! That's a real one. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. No, there's four hooks there. How? That had some go. I reckon that might have been snappy. It's a bit active. Yeah. Come on.
Got him. Oh, that's a it's having a go. Is There's a little click. Yeah. It's a bit better. That's what we want. Now if those hooks could just oh, stay in, that would be lovely. Hopefully, nice even pressure. They've got 230 grams of, of weight that they can thrash around and use to their advantage to help get the hooks out. So you don't want to give them uh, any extra unneeded pressure. Just slow and steady and up they'll come. Also, the longer you fight them for, the more chance you've got of the other assist hooks finding their mark. There he is. What is it? Snaps. Oh, yes. Oh, he's only just pinned. So please don't lift him. Um, I might, if you want to hold that, I might grab him. Oh, he's only just hooked. <clears throat> You <laughs> snap a dactyl. Well, there you go. That's 200 meters of snapper on the jig. 200 gram. I've changed up and uh, hook corner of the mouth. He uh, he put up a bit of a stink early on. Then uh, yeah. Then there's a long wind back up. But that is exactly what you want. We're putting a decent feed together now. There are some tasty, tasty, tasty fillets in that esky. Thoughts? Oh, mate, I'm stoked. Mate, we came out here on a whim. Oh, we're just mate. like, yeah, we want to catch stuff in the deep water for a change. And uh, look, I think we're well and truly achieving that goal. We're doing it. We're doing it. I reckon a bar cod would be absolutely stoked. A or bar cod? A, a bar cod oh, and a flame tail each. Oh, Icing on the cake. Imagine. Well, guys, I'm, um, I'm using some dirty tactics right now. I've got a couple of bits of squid tentacles off the, off the jig. That's going to act like a super sweetener. It's not cheating, surely. It's enhancing. Enhance. Shauno's sure going back to bait. Fish on. Oh, straight away. Was oh, that a good fish too? Yeah, it is a good fish. Why didn't you do that last time instead of losing your rig? Sean, Sean, Sean. I don't know. Sean, Sean, Sean. Do you want to talk about it some more? Not particularly, to be honest. <laughs> not huge, but it did not take long. I actually put it in here and it was fish on. All right, I'm on the bottom too. Surely. Surely Sammy gets a bit of reward. Oh yeah. Yep. Sean has got colour. Good one? Oh cracker. That is a cracker. Oh you beauty. Oh jeez. It's a long way up for a small snappy. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not that small. Not he's a nice panty. There you go. Panty snap. Not massive, but good on the table nonetheless. Fillets. Yes. Sean out. Thoughts? Uh, I think a nanny maybe. I was, I was quite aggressive with that. I'll get a few handshakes here today. Wipe up a little bit. Not, not really big. Oh! Yes, yes. No! Lost him. Oh, got him again. 
Oh, this is a real fish. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Yep. Looks a bit kingish. Kind of looks like a kingy though. Very like super like a kingy. <laughs> like if I had to ID that, I'd be like, yeah, it's, yeah kingy. <laughs> Comfort lift. Little kingy. You on yet? Oh, little rat king. Hooked him in the side as well, that's what all the fuss was about. I thought it might have been a, uh, a bari at one stage, but not to be. Oh yeah. We on. We on. Nah, he's alright. Probably shouldn't do this, but we'll see how we go. Oh, how's that for timing? How is that for timing? I'm going to get this jig straight back down there. Not massive, but they are a good eating size. Very, very tasty. Well, guys, I'm not sure if you can see or hear, but the wind is well and truly up now. We gave it another two drifts like we probably shouldn't have. And uh, the wind has increased. Uh, probably doubled, but that's all right. We're uh, we're definitely not displeased. Check a look at this esky. Plenty of colour in that. That is a good morning's work. Jigs and bait. Happy Shorno, mate. Absolutely over the moon. Couple of good snapper. Those nannies taste so good. Oh, far out. We're going to arrange the ice. Get the ice on top of them. Yeah, we're going to cool them down. Treat them right, and uh, get them all nice and chilly and. Big fillet sesh when we get back. You gotta do a bit of an esky shot. Have a go at the size of those nannies. Couple of kings. This guy. Now, we passed him off as a nanny, um, but it turns out he's not. We don't know what that is. If you know what this is, it's uh, super spiky. Like full on anti-reverse scales, like a goldfish, small tail, so it's like small bottom half like Sean. Um, big spike there. It's got a nanny mouth, but um, yeah, different colour. All the rest have gone that colour, he's gone this colour. So not sure, and then some snappy boys. That is a good day in the office, that is. How good is that, mate? That is, I'm just trying to figure out, obviously I've got the big ones here. I definitely, I definitely caught that, I don't even know what that is. But I reckon he's gonna be a nanny, just tastes like a nanny. Probably should look him up before I try and eat him. But um, that's a good haul, good haul, mate. Now for your four wheel drive enthusiasts, um, that's Sean's car, apparently he thinks it's special or something but uh, it doesn't look as good when it's next to something like that, now that is a machine, the mighty Padge, uh, Padge gets the, if you can think of a rhyming word then you know, insert it there but you know you can tell the difference between the two machines, you've got that one that obviously looks like, I don't know, it'd handle a car park or something of that nature, maybe not in the wet, but you know, a good dry flat car park. Love it. This thing here, now, I don't know, you, you couldn't stop that. You couldn't, you just couldn't. It's too good a machine. Heard it all, I bloody heard it all. Puppies, puppies. Uh, people will inevitably be interested in the gear that we were using, very effective for deep water. It looks like we're using pretty well brim or jack gear. Sorry about that camera work just then, I got distracted. But these are 1500 Oshia Jigger, Shimano Oshia Jiggers. They hold a stack of line. I've got a 40 pound Oshia Jigger braid on there. You've got about the same. About the same, I think. About the same. He's, he's got the silver one because he, he's not flash enough to have gold. Um, <laughs> and I'm using, this is a PE3 uh, slow jigging rod. It's a Oshia Jigger Infinity and that's a bone 
uh, Ocean Thug as well in the PE, I think two, PE two rod? Don't know mate, but it goes all right. <laughs> it goes all right. The old noodle stick, doesn't look like it's, like, you know, we're fishing 200 metres of water for big things, and um, these did the job just superbly. In fact, they're really quite comfortable to fish that depth. Well, that's the thing, like, you can get away with using a, an outfit that you, you can fit pretty well in, in the palm of your hand, fish one-handed, jig one-handed, and fish in those depths, which people don't usually kind of mm. think you can. They think you've got to use something big and heavy, but you don't. We've got the line capacity. These can take the jig size, so get down there. But uh, look, it looks like we've got a bit of filling. Oh, no, I'm excited, mate. We've got a few fillets. I'm going to try some of these whole baked, I reckon. There's going to be a few fillets as well. A bit of sashimi. Smorgasbord, mate. It's a seafood basket. I'm actually going to fill, fill up mine at home. I've got to hit the highway because I've got to... Uh, I've got to meet someone on the way home and we're already a bit late even though we pulled the pin, pin early. I always like to um, say I'll be there nice and early and then it's we great, get... Great we, story, Sammy. It's a fantastic story, mate. <laughs> whole, whole life story coming out. So, <laughs> so it's just Sammy fishing show, this one. If you just want to pipe down there, champion. <laughs> mate, you just eat this thing raw and oh. we'll, we'll watch. <clears throat> Good fun. We're going to divvy these up. Obviously, I'll take most of them because I caught them all. <laughs> um, and I don't know, maybe leave Sean a snapper or something for his efforts just for driving the boat around. Definitely going to try that little fella. I reckon he's a tasty. Just cook him whole. Yeah. Cook him whole, Sean. Like mushroom nanny guy or something. And these, Psychedelic. <laughs> these are superb eating. I can't wait to so have a go of these. I've never actually eaten a nanny guy before. I've caught small ones on bait jigs on bait reefs, but I've never caught a big one like this. And these are apparently good size for. Uh, for the nana guy, they are apparently tasty yeah. as. Yeah, I'd, I'd have one of those over a snapper, put it that way. You heard it first, better than snapper, but we will report back on that. Anyways, we'll catch you back at home on the filling table. Okay, ladies and gents, welcome to Fillet HQ. Uh, first ones on the list are these guys here. Now, I've actually never filleted one of these before. Um, literally my first time dealing with one. I've caught little ones, they've always been too small. But these guys are big, these are like 45 centimetres and I think that's pretty big for an Anna guy. It's the biggest I've seen so they're big for me. Um, I don't really know how to fill them, I'm sure it's going to be like a, a pearl perch of sorts. So I'm going to give it a red hot crack. They've got pretty similar scales to a pearly so I'm going to scale them. I reckon that skin looks pretty thin and nice and edible. Um, always eat the skin where I can, a lot of the nutrients is in the skin, there's a little hot tip for you. Uh, so I'm going to scale them and then knock some fillets off and see what this flesh looks like. Sean I reckons they're damn fine eating, so I reckon it's going to be pretty pearly white. Well, I know next to nothing about these fish, but I would suggest minding where your hands go, because they've got some pretty gnarly spines in here. Sort of stuff that'll cut you to the bone very easily. They're quite sharp, a lot of serrated edges on them, so be careful. Exercise caution. But these scales are coming off pretty easy, so... I think, I think scaled is the way to go. This is the moment of truth, and it's going to be fun because I've got a camera sitting right in front of me. So let's give it a crack. See what they, oh yeah, that looks like nice flesh. Looks like real nice flesh. Be interesting to see what their bone situation is like. That much crazy stuff going on with their head. You can only imagine they've got a few bones in strange places in the body there. Gonna take my time here because I only got four. I don't want to waste them. Save every skerrick if they're, if they're as good as Sean reckons. Well, they've got a fairly sizable backbone on them, so you really do kind of need to go do one side at a time. If you ran the knife straight down there, I reckon you'd lose a fair bit of meat. For small fish, that's a big backbone. Interesting to see how far the pin bones run through as well. All right, there's not much on the belly there. There you go. That is some nice white meat. Oh, that is unreal. It reminds me of like a um a uh, red throat emperor or like a tusk fish. That sort of uh, white. It's pretty firm. Feels quite firm, and I uh, I can't wait to get a taste of it. Looks good. It's very weird. So the middle of the fillet goes through here, 
And that's generally where your pin bones are. But these ones are off the side somewhere, just out randomly by themselves. So you've got the middle of the fillet, and then the pin bones out the side. That is bizarre. I haven't seen that before. Righto, trendsetters, it is time to see how those red critters perform on the plate. As always, if you're tuning in with the beer, cheers to you guys. Ah, it is a good time to be drinking a cold beer, I can tell you that much. Now, I'm not going to do anything too crazy with these because I do actually want to taste the fish. I want to see what the fish tastes like. I don't want to mask it with any crazy sauces or anything like that. Just simple flavours. Keep it nice and simple. And what better way to do that than a cheeky fish wrap. Um, I've got two fillets here and I've cut them up. I'm sure they won't slide off the board here. Cut them up into wrap appropriate sizes. Um, I've got some plain flour. So just a bit of plain flour and a bit of this business mixed together. That's a little salt and pepper mix by Tandako. I use this stuff all the time. They need to sponsor the show. Tandako, if you're watching, hit me up. It's simple as just, we're just gonna dust these pieces in flour. So just chuck a couple in. If you haven't already, you should know by now, before you start cooking, turn your pan on. It saves you a lot of time. Get all these bits in at once. Give it a good shake around. They come out looking like that. Lightly coated. Beautiful. Hot pan, butter. You want to coat everywhere you're going to chuck fish. Do your biggest pieces first. They're going to take the longest. I'm going to let them cook for about 30 seconds and I'll chuck the rest of the pieces on. Keep on eyeing it. I reckon it won't take any longer than a normal piece of snapper. It's While that's cooking, let's get these wraps ready. Here's some I made myself earlier. What we're going to do is add a little bit of, of uh, dill. Don't go overboard. It's pretty strong stuff, so just a, just a smithereen. Whack a bit of this business on, salad cream, never seen it go on a salad, don't know why you'd ever put it on a salad, but it goes great with fish. Again, you only want to use enough to bring a bit of moisture into your wrap. That's the only reason we're putting sauce on here, just to lubricate it a bit so you can chew it without dying of thirst. Now we're going to put a bit of rabbit food on there, um, seeing as we just cooked it all in butter, I figured we may as well get in touch with our inner health and put some salad on there, or salad for your common folks. Bit of four leaf, you couldn't do it with three leaves, you couldn't do it with five leaves. Four is the exact right amount of number of leaves to have in a mixed bag salad, apparently. I don't know who the genius who was who thought that up, but good on you, four leaf. Saving salads since whenever it was invented. This fish isn't far away now, so uh, let's go to fish camp. Guys, that fish is done. Gas off, start with your little bits, load up your wrap. Woohoo! Look at that for coverage. Beautiful. Add some salad. Yeah! Maybe a bit nicer than that. Booyah, booyah. That is a fish wrap, and that looks and smells damn good. Rightio, -oh, guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the all important taste test. Now, I have heard some differing opinions when it comes to actually wrapping wraps. Um, Spitting venom, you know what it is. Uh, I know some people who just roll it straight up like that and have two open ends. Those people should be thrown in jail, that is criminal. That's where all the juice and all your sauce falls out the bottom. No, no, no. Fold the end over first, then fold your sides. And look at that, you've got a nice little package. Let's give this a red hot nudge. It's having a bit of fish by itself. Jeez, that is good. That is real good. That is an absolute pleasure to eat. Guys, guys, that is red hot. That is unreal. I would go as far to say that if that was in a rap battle with Eminem, this thing would come out on top. And I'm not joking yet, this is out of control good. Uh, Shauno, if you're watching, mate, 
What are you doing next week? Because we need to get more of these things. They are damn tasty. That is unreal. That was my first time ever trying these Nanogar and I am very, very impressed. Well guys, my afternoon is looking pretty red hot. I've got a wrap of fresh fish. I've got a cold beer. I don't think it gets too much better than that. That is all we've got time for this week, guys. Hope you liked or learned something this video. If you did, make sure you like it. Make sure you leave us a comment below and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as well because there's new fishing action coming every single week. Massive shout out to Shawno as well. Thanks for the company, mate. Uh, guys, make sure you check out Shawno's channel, Four Wheel Drive Action, and also Snatched Clothing. You'll be able to find all the information how you can get in touch with Shawno in the description below. Guys, if you do want to support the channel, there's still a couple of hats left, and I mean like literally a couple, I think there's about five left of the navy hats. The grey is unfortunately sold out. Uh, so head on to my website, www.sammyhitskyfishing.com. All my other socials, I've got Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all versions of Sammy Hitsky Fishing. Type that in, you will find it. Guys, hope you're safe, hope you're well. Hope you're catching a few fish and putting a feed on the table for your family. Until next week, guys, have a good one. Stay safe. Cheers.